A lot of people's excuses when it comes to exercising is, I don't have the time. I'm too busy all day, I just don't have the time to exercise. I hear what you're saying. I really do. I, I use that excuse all of the time. There's so much to do in a day. How do I find the time to do something that I don't even like doing that much? So, so it's really easy to use that excuse. But think of it this way. I started exercising last week and I set the goal for three times a week I do weight exercising and then three times a week I do like aerobic exercising so maybe go for a run or something. And I do weight training because weight training is really essential in getting in shape. You could lose weight doing pure aerobics but I, I read a quote from a book one time and basically they said you could lose weight by doing just the aerobics but it's basically like turning a pear into a smaller pear. You're not really shaping up your body. Plus when you weight train, when you are lifting heavy weight, it actually rips microfibers in your muscles. And to rebuild the muscles, it takes a lot of energy from your body, from food, from your fat. So as your muscles are rebuilding, it takes energy from your fat and your food to do that. And the healing process actually happens when you're not working out, when you're just sitting at your office at work, when you're at home. Your muscles are rebuilding to heal themselves and using your fat energy and your food energy which means you will lose weight a lot quicker when you weight train. When you are doing purely aerobics, you need a lot of energy to run, that's for sure, and you're definitely going to rip some of your muscles in your body, especially in your legs, but a lot of the time when you're resting afterwards, you're not losing as much weight. You're losing more weight in that time when you're running that 20 minute run but the hours afterwards, there's not as much healing that needs to be done, so there's a lot less calories that are burned afterwards. During the workout, yes. Afterwards, not so much. With weight training, you burn calories during the workout and then afterwards to heal your body. But anyways, I calculated. I usually work out maybe 40, 45 minutes with weight training. And then on the other days, I usually go for 20 minutes for my aerobic training, which is just going for a 20 minute run. And if you calculate that, that's about three hours a week of exercising. And let's even count prep time, like time you have to spend getting ready, putting your shoes on, going to the gym or going out to the location where you're exercising and uh, maybe showering afterwards and getting ready. All of that stuff takes time too, I know that. So let's even put a whole extra hour. Let's, let's even say two hours. So that's five hours a week of exercising. But if you calculate this, 24 times seven, that's how many hours will be in a week. That comes out to 168 hours in the week. You should exercise maybe three three to five hours out of that 168 hours. That's less than 2% of your time. So what I'm saying is when you make the excuse, I don't have the time to exercise, that's just an excuse. That's just an excuse because you don't want to do it. And if you find yourself using that excuse, it, it just doesn't make sense. Like if, if, that's, if your excuse is that you don't have the time, find the time because I'm sure you could find it somewhere. Alright, peace.